Hey friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React.js full tutorial for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned how to create components in a different way, which is through functional components. That's what we call them as functional components. A quick recap, they are nothing but just regular functions, which will return JSX. There is one more way of creating components in React, which is what we call it as class components. Instead of writing function, we will write an entire class. Now, if you are coming from an object oriented background, you will know what a class is and what the object are, etc. But having said that, I'm going to cover everything from basic about class component. Let's get started. This is part 13 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 12 parts, they are extremely crucial, important from an understanding and fundamental per se. Make sure that you go through them in order to have continuous learning and continuity to your learning. <coughs> Today we are learning about class components. What are class components? Class components are ES6 classes that extend react.component and define the render method to return JSX. It's just different way of writing a component, but understand that there is no right or wrong way. Both are correct. Both the output will be similar. You will not see a difference, but the way we implement some of the extra additional things that are available in terms of, let's say, lifecycle components, hooks, right? Methods like component did mount, component did update, component will unmount, etc. will have some side effects and you can manage them right inside the class. Okay. So for now, what you should know is that there are two ways to create components. One is called functional component. One is called class component. So in the last episode, I showed you an example of how to create a functional component. Today, I'll show you how to create class component. Let's get started. Um, all right. So in the last episode, we created this credit card tab. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate the same component but in a class component. That way you can compare between the two and go about it, right? So let me create a file and I'm going to call it credit card nav tab dot js, All right? So now, so you, <coughs> the output expected will be same. So what we will do is first we will import react from react. We will also need components. So what I'm going to do is I'll import the component, okay? And then you will write class, let's say credit card tab extends react.component, right? Or you can just mention component, that's also fine. And remember, in functional component here, if you notice, we are just writing return and wrapper and it will return this. In a class, what you will write is first render, okay? And this method will return things. So you will have to do that extra step of returning. So here you can add the same HTML, what you have, what we did in the last episode, just to see the output. So this is how a class component will look like. This is a component by the name credit card nav tab, which will extend component and we will write render method, okay? Now this method will have a return wrapper, which is where you will write all the HTML that you want to return or the markup, right? It may look little confusing for beginners, but this is another way of doing the same thing, all right? So now I'm going to go ahead, take, and now we need to export this. So we are going to say export default credit card nav Right, so once you have exported, it's ready to use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I'll go back to my main content and instead of credit card tab, I'm going to say credit card nav tab. All right, so let's see that now you don't need this credit card tab because now we are not using it anymore, and here we are using it. It says highlight credit card is not defined. Okay. So we are going to go ahead <coughs> and since we are not using it, I am going to just comment this off for now. Okay, so 
the idea is to show and compare you that both can work in the same way okay so let's review this once um, we have the credit card nav tab and I'm going to close it and do NPM start again all right <coughs> so it says a uh, highlight credit card is not defined highlight credit card uh, we are not using it anywhere are we okay so looks like we are using it here right since we copy pasted so that's why <coughs> Here it doesn't matter actually in this file uh, since we copied that HTML so that's why it came in okay so I removed that so that's fine now now if you see it the tabs are still coming because now they are coming not from the credit card tab the functional component but now they are coming from nav tab which is a class component right so see there are two ways of writing components functional component and class component these are this is a classic example where the output will be same but the way it's implemented is different right so where do you use that now that's again a subjective kind of a question as to where to use that the idea is functional components are much easier better to write but credit when you use class it has more restriction in terms of what can be used what cannot be used etc right so you can have another uh, methods that you want to use you can include a constructor here right and you can pass the props that we can, will learn in as we learn as we continue in the series we can have a constructor we can have our own methods right um, for now I'm just console logging so you can see that a class can have a constructor it can have its own um, say highlight highlight tab right now this can be just a regular function right that we will use now <coughs> you will use this operator to set the values if you have any right uh, let's say I have I'm going to use um, some variable let's say state equal to true right now here you can say this dot right state equal to false so you can do a lot of things just like a regular class that you do in object oriented you can define methods you can have uh, variables that you will manipulate so I will give you a complete difference of functional and class in the next episode that's the topic right um, so for now I'm going to delete that because we are going to build this uh, as we move progress but understand that you can build a component in two ways functional and class component in the next episode I'm going to <coughs> walk you through the differences and uh, between functional and class component that way your concept will be much more clear I hope I am covering all the topics that you will need uh, to really master react with me and just continue practicing and you will be there writing your own react apps very soon thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next episode where we will learn about the difference between functional and class components thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode